Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll see how to create project within a given organization. In the last video, we have created this Excel solution products. Now in this video, we'll create a new project and we'll go through the settings available for this given project. So what I'll do, I'll give a name to my project that is bookstore. I'll put some description here. I'll keep this as private so basically if you want to uh, make this project accessible to external world we can make it public or if you want to restrict it we can make it private we'll see the advanced settings here we are having two options for our version controlling like git and tfvc there are four work item processes available in other DevOps. Agile, Basic, CMMI, and Scrum. Uh, I have changed the default setting of this work item process. By default, it's basic, but I have changed it to Scrum. If you want to make uh, this setting changes, it will be available under organization settings. Okay, what I'll do, I'll open this a new tab. Here, if we'll go to this process, here this Scrum is default. What I can do, I can make this basic as default. I'll not make this change here. Okay, cool. So let me create this project. So our new project has been created. So this is our bookstore project. These are different services, boards, repos, pipeline, test plan and artifacts. In the next video, we'll see how to create boards and other processes. These are the project settings. So let me go through the available settings for this project. I click on this project settings under overview the book uh, the bookstore the name of this project this description scrum process I have selected that for this implementation the visibility is currently showing as private I can change this to public let me show you how what is the difference between this private and public so I'll give a small demo on that part. Project administrator, uh, my ID is by default taken as uh, this admin role. These are different services. If you want, we can hide this just by making it turn off. And if you want, we can delete this project. So let me give a brief background about the visibility of this project, how we can uh, set, how we can make it accessible to external world or how we can restrict it so before that we need the URL of this project so what we can do we can go to this organization and uh, from the organization setting we can take this path let me copy this I'll open a new incognito mode let me paste here bookstore is my project name if I'll press enter it will ask for credential it's not available for everyone now let me make changes in the project setting what I'll do I'll again I, either I can click on this project or go to this project now I can make this public let me save it we'll again go to that incognito mode in the next step I'll again put my project name let me enter it cool so now we can see uh, this project is accessible to ex external world because uh, we have made it as public instead of private Okay, now if you want to hide 
this Azure DevOps services. What we can do? We can simply toggle these artifacts, remove artifacts. Same goes for other items. I'll keep this. I'll remove everything from here. Okay, now if I'll switch to my Excel solution product organization. So now in the organization view, we can see our bookstore project is here. If I'll click on this, here uh, all the Azure DevOps services are not available like boards, pipeline, artifact, repos. So those were we have hidden. So we we have seen how to create project within a given organization and how to make it public and private let me show you how to create a team within given organization so I've gone to the settings part of this project I'll switch to the teams by default uh, this bookstore is my project name so it took that name appended this team and created a team for me bookstore team it's default project if you if I want to delete this project it will not allow me to delete one here I am the part of this project since I have created this project by default it took my name so at least in a team there should be one admin without admin it can't exist under settings if you want to delete this one it will not allow to delete it now what we'll do we'll delete this bookstore team and we'll create two new teams for our this project one for development and another for testing so for adding or creating a new team we need to click this new team we need to give a name I'll give a dev team I can directly add members from here let me add few names here I have added few members here by default one admin is required in each team that's why this uh, under administrator my ID is reflecting by default the permission is set as contributor if you want we can change this we can make it build admin contributor project administrator reader I'll keep this since this is a development team so this team will be responsible for making any changes in the project so I'll create it I'll keep it as is now I'll click on this create new team icon it will create a new team for us Now this new dev team has been created. We'll make it default. What we can do? The three dots are there. We'll click on this. Set team as project default. Now this bookstore team can be deleted. So let me delete it. I'll click on this bookstore team. I'll go to settings and click on delete team. Delete. So we are having only one team, dev team. If I click on this, the other members of the dev team. If I want to remove anyone, I can click here and remove. And if you want to add anyone, we can add users or groups. Now we'll create one more team, the QA team, which will be responsible for testing and everything. So we'll again repeat the same process. New team, testing. Capital add a few users here. Okay, I have added Ian and Nancy. What I'll do, I'll change the permissions. I'll make them as readers. I'll not allow to make any I'll not allow these users to make any change in the system. So I can change the permissions here. Let me make it as readers. Now I'll click create so it will create a new team for me okay so now we see we have one more new team here testing team and there are three members in this team let me click it it will give all the names 
Ian and Nancy, including me, since I'm admin, and there should be one admin in the team. That's why my account is reflecting here. Okay, so what we have seen, we have created two new teams here under this bookstore project. Now, in the next step, we'll see how to grant access to individual users as well as these teams. So for that, we need to click on this permissions. So once we click on this permissions, it will give all the available groups along with the team. Here we can see we are having these groups build administrators, contributors, project administrators, project valid users, and readers. So by default, if we'll create any team, they will be the project valid users. And we have seen uh, the contributors is the default permission which will be available for all the team we can switch that uh, to readers or build administrator anything now we'll see let's assume if you want to add a given user as product project administrator so what i do we'll click on this project administrator group and we can see who are our members As of now, my ID is reflecting here. What I can do, I'll add. Here we can add user or a given group. So what we can do, we can create a different team like project manager and under that team, we can add multiple users or instead of adding user's name here directly, we can add that team. But for timing, what I'll do, I'll add uh, my manager name here. So. book as a project admin let me save it so uh, now we can see Deepak name is reflecting here and uh, if you we'll see if we click on Deepak it will give me the permissions which are available and uh, if I'll click on this member of it will give me all the details like uh, he belongs to which groups so, since we have added him as project admin that's why uh, his name is reflecting under project administrator now I'll, what I'll do I'll again go to this permission and this time we'll add team instead of any user so under contributor and we'll go under members what I'll do here dev team is there so we'll add testing team as well so testing team, testing team is reflecting here why because uh, testing testing team could be responsible for making any changes in the boards like uh, entering any bugs or making changes in the status of test cases so for that purpose what I'll do I'll add testing team in this contributor group and I'll click on save so testing team is appearing here under contributors if I'll click on this since earlier we have added uh, this te testing team as a reader so if I'll click on this member of it will show Readers. I'll remove this, delete this membership because I want this testing team as a contributor. So I'll keep this one. Members, uh, we have added Ian and NC in that group. Perfect. So uh, we have seen like in the permissions, we can add team and users as per the need. So in the real environment, it may happen that uh, in a given project, there will be different teams and within team, resource mapping will be there. So as a best practice, create teams, map those teams under different groups. Just for an example, let's assume if you want to create a new team of stakeholders. So let me go under teams, here teams. I'll create a new team and this 
stick hold the team I'll add few members here I have added Alok and Sujit as a team member let me correct it stick folder and uh, we'll give reader permission we'll create so a new team will be created created here under along with this dev and this uh, testing cool so we have seen how to create project here this bookstore we have also seen what are the settings available for this uh, we have seen like public and private let me make it private again I'll save it and uh, we have hired all the Azure DevOps services if you want we can delete this project we have seen how to create teams in a project we have created teams within team we have added users likewise we have seen permissions the different groups are there and in this group we have added users and team so in this contributor group we have added testing team and if you'll see under project administrator group I have added this debug so users we can add users as well perfect so uh, let me summarize this video so in this video we have seen how to create a project how to create a team how to add users within a team or how to add a team within a available group so in the next video we'll see how to create boards and how to set up this scrum project bookstore so thanks for watching this video stay tuned